Yes, my name is Solange Decker. I am your Miss International Queen 2023 from the Netherlands. I am Melanie Monroe. I am the representative from the USA and I am your second runner-up for Miss International Queen 2023. I am still very excited. You know, um, it's been an incredible, an incredible journey so far. And it, um, it feels like already a year ago that I got crowned, but it was only last week. It goes by so fast. Uh, it's actually crazy. We've already done so many things, um, you know, after the coronation. And I'm just very happy that I get to share it with, uh, with Melanie and, you know, that we are just in this together. Oh yes, I'm extremely excited. I mean, like this chance to spread our message, our core message, the message of Miss International Queen has been wonderful. These past week has just been very gracious in the circumstances that as two trans women we're able to speak to the world and affect positive change and bring a light towards people. That just makes us both feel so great. No, no, neither of us. We all we've also never been to Asia. Yeah. This is the first time in Asia and in Thailand. So and we it's, love it. We love it both. It's very very exciting. Yes. I mean, it's amazing. You know, uh, we both love the culture. We love the food, the history. Uh, the history. We went to uh, Ayutthaya for a fashion show, and we got to see the old. Uh, like ruins, you know, the ancient yeah, like Wat temples. Rat, I think uh, Wat Rat and a couple other of the ruins. Exactly, there and, and it was just magical to visit. And Thailand has so much to offer, and um, we're just very grateful that we get to, you know, stay here for another two weeks and just yes. see everything about Thailand. Absolutely, Thailand has such a rich culture and a rich history that it's just amazing to be able to like take part in that and see that. Um, especially the museums, the Museum of Performance, the Museum of Art yeah. that was cultivated by like the Queen. I mean, like it was just beautiful to see those artisans at work and those artifacts displayed in such magnificence. Uh, Not a lot, you yeah, know, Sawadee so so Khan, Kabuna Khan, International McQueen. Yes, <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had we haven't really had a chance to learn a lot of Thai language because we've been so busy yes. with the competition and then with um, you know doing a media tour and I think that people forget that it's hard work you know we only mm -hmm. get three or four hours of sleep each night and then we have to get going every time it's a different city different place yes. like two hair hours in the up. van yeah. hair makeup outfits it's a lot of work so we don't really have time for our personal lives, social yeah. lives, or to learn new things, but maybe we, maybe we, we will. We've learned, we've had learned some like things, uh, but the problem is it kind of kind of goes in fast and doesn't necessarily have time to stick. No. Like what was the one? Uh, let's go. Lerm Lerm La. Lerm. Lerm, yeah. Lerm La. Lerm La. Lerm Ra. Lerm La. We try, but we try, but like we want to learn more. Yeah. Oh, what's the next thing? Um, I mean, you know, I'm staying here for a year uh, to work on my goals and my advocacy, and I just really want to um, spread that throughout Thailand and throughout um, the world, basically. So I get to I get to have a full year uh, where I can complete my reign and just work fully on my goals. Um, and one of those goals will be to propose a plan to the Thai officials to legalize same-sex marriage uh, here in Thailand. And that will be my uh, main priority together with my two other advocacy points that I already had when entering the competition. Uh, for me, I definitely want to set up an official preliminary with my sponsor back in the USA for Miss International Queen. And then when I do get back to the USA, I continue to, I'm planning to continue my uh, resistance against the conservative movement in America to relegate trans people to the dark corners of the earth, essentially. Um, fighting against, you know, the discrimination of trans youth uh, for that, the right to access health care, um, safe spaces, um, legal documents for trans people. All those things are really important and they're, they're being, they're under attack at the moment in the U.S. So for me, that's my goal is to use my voice to kind of fight that. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for supporting us, for um, joining us in this journey. Um, and we're just very grateful that you have been there with us together. And uh, we hope to see more of you very soon. Yes, thank you so much, Kapunaka. We thank you for um, just your support, your loving kindness, your generosity. Thank you for sharing in our stories and lifting them up to be seen by other people. We really appreciate it. And we hope that you all, you know, remember to be kind and loving to everyone else around you.